Hi, it's Gary. Welcome to today's video. It's that time of year when I look at setting my annual theme. This, it's a simple phrase that I use to really help me to guide my decisions and my actions throughout the year. I do not make resolutions. I don't set goals. What I do is I set a theme for the year. Now, why I avoid goals? Well, goals, resolutions, they're very restrictive. Things change, and when things change, the goals, quite often they don't change to reflect that. So say you've got a job, and something happens, and you change your job. Any goals that you set that are based on that job, well, they become meaningless. And this, it's just one simple example. As the year progresses, what I do is I look at everything against the theme to see how it fits in. Doing this, it helps me to decide what I should be doing, how I should do things, and even, well, should I be doing the thing? Now, last year, my theme was the year of small. In this, I was focusing on small changes that I could do to simplify and streamline what I do. See my previous video for more details on how that went. Over the past month, well, I've spent a fair amount of time thinking about a theme for 2024. I've looked at the results that I got from the previous year and from the years before that and how those changes have impacted me. I've looked at how they made me feel. I've thought about, well, where do I want to go in the future? I've tried to envision what will a successful 2024 look like? This, it's all helped me in determining the theme for the coming year. And the theme that I've come up with, it's the year of why. One simple three-letter word. Why? This year, my intention is to focus on asking myself, why? And not just asking it once or twice, but asking it multiple times until I can no longer answer it, until I get down to the simplest reason for doing something. I'll be asking myself, why do I do things? I'll be asking, why do I do things the way that I do? I'll be asking, well, why are things laid out as they are? Why is my desk set up like this? I'll also be asking, well, why do I do things at the time that I do them? The aim is to challenge everything I do by asking the simplest question multiple times. And then when something new comes along, I'll be asking, why should I do this? I'll be asking, why should I do this new thing over something else? I'll be asking, well, Am I getting where I'm going? And why not? And why not do things differently? The whole focus of the year, it's about better understanding why I'm doing things. And then I'll take that understanding and I'll use it to stop doing things, to turn down things that don't really add to my personal why, to turn down things that take me away from doing the important things. And I'll be turning down things that take away control of what I'm doing. The end result, I'll be able to take control of what I say yes to. I'll be able to focus more on the items I'm doing. And I'll be able to really whittle things down by using this simple Y gate. The aim, it's all about taking control of my work and my life. A short one, this one. I always find that the themed videos can be a bit short. What is going to be your theme for this year? Or are you using goals? What goals have you set? Why not drop a comment down below? Let's kickstart the conversation. Please hit the thumbs up button. Every time you like, every time you comment, just helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon.